y'all. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. I just finished cooking. Let me show y'all what I got for dinner today. Today I got a piece of blackened catfish. Ooh, the juice from the greens. Um, a baked catfish, squash, uh, greens, sliced tomatoes, and cucumbers. It's my dinner today. Let me throw a little box on this thingy thing on my greens and on my fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what y'all got going on today? And for the drink, y'all, I was drinking on one of the grapefruit ice drinks earlier. So I'm going to um, pour that out. I set it in the refrigerator. I just took a swig of it because I wanted something. Uh, ooh, wanted me something. Anyway, let me say my prayers. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for blessing us to see another day. Thank you for our fellowship that we're about to have right now, Father. Thank you for allowing us to be blessed for our health and our strength and for waking up another day. Lord, I thank you for the food which I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. In Christ's name, amen. Amen, amen. So what y'all got going on today for dinner? Mmm. Fish good. I thought I had put too much black and season on, kind of, kind of dropped it, but it really worked out too. It worked out well. Mmm. That was a little too hot. So, I worked yesterday, right? I hadn't worked left in a little while, in a little minute. So, I always work. Let me put a little vinegar on here. This ain't nothing but the apple cider vinegar. And y'all, this is the oldest brand. It's okay. But I really prefer I really prefer the Bragg's brand. Anyway. So, yeah. What was I talking about? So, yeah, I worked yesterday. I don't know if I just hadn't been used to it in a while or what. Because I done stayed out 10 hours in a row driving. You know. But yesterday, I was going downhill fast. Like at three hours and something. I'm like, ooh, I don't think I'm going to do it. Then I got another ding. So, I was going to work Lyft and Uber yesterday. But I ended up only working Lyft because I kept getting them back to back, you know. I kept getting rides. So, yeah. I really need to work because um, Uber sometime this week because I always work Memphis in May. And I hadn't worked Uber in a minute. Uber at all in a minute. So, I need to see what's different with their uh, app, you know. Well, anyway. I didn't make a lot yesterday. I made seventy dollars, but it was seventy dollars more than I had, and I stayed out for four hours. All that I wasn't on because I had to stop at my sister's house, and um, I talked to her for about fifteen minutes. I had dropped somebody off at the one that looked somebody at the skating rink, and her house was near there. I was going to pick up somebody from Nike that was getting out of work, but. My bladder was on 10, and uh, luckily she was at home, and so I stopped at the used restroom, and when we talked for a few minutes, and then I went on, picked up my schedule ride from Nike, and took him on, and, and got somebody right after that, like bam, 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 right after, so. Then, I don't know if this guy hit the lift out by mistake, but I got to his house. He canceled, which I didn't mind no ways because, you know, once you get there and they cancel you, they have to pay you $5, which you wouldn't because I wouldn't know where from. 
I had just dropped the passenger off about five minutes away, so it wasn't no big deal. But so I'm thinking he hit the app, you know, by mistake. But once you arrive there, like I say, and then if you have have several cancellations too, I think they charge you after so many cancellations. I don't know how that worked though. But it'll be busy here next weekend. I can't remember all the acts gonna be there, but I do remember Charlie Wilson. I remember I think Cardi B gonna be here. It's a whole lot of acts every year. I wonder what the weather gonna be like, cause it's been known to rain. You know, during the during the festival. But I was telling the guy, cause he also drive for left. He said his car was down right now. He waiting to get back out there, and um. He was saying he hate he's going to miss it, you know, this year. Because you do make decent. And I was telling my sister yesterday that I was working for something that I want. And I really don't have the extra money nowhere right now. And it's something I want to do. And they announced early in the year we wasn't going to get no bonus this year, so... It ain't like, but honey, I'm great for my check, so I tell people all the time, a bonus is nice, but it's variable. I'll take fixed. I'll take fixed. I had a interesting conversation. Oh, y'all, this is the fish. I don't know if I showed y'all up close or not. With, um, Mm. one of my passengers yesterday. There was a young man. He was going to the movies. And I picked him up. He said he was glad to be off because he never really get the weekend off very much and he was just lifting here and there today. So I picked him up, which later he told me was somewhere called, they called Get Will Gardens. And he was out there by the office. And so he was telling me, he just went on to explain. He said his friends, um, you know, tell you something about him living over there, right? Talking about it's the quote unquote projects. Well, I thought they threw all the projects down. I don't know. He said they considered it to be the project. His friend. He said, but ma'am, I don't know. He just started talking to me. Hey, hey. I, um, live somewhere I can afford to pay. He said, people think it's crime over here, but it's not crime. Everybody want to live somewhere decent and crime-free. And you think people live in crime areas areas because they, ha they want to? Sometimes they have to. And good people, plenty of good people. It's the, the small percentage that make it bad, a bad area bad. So he said, I, you know, living where I can't afford. I knew I could afford to live here on my job. I don't make no shame in that. It's no shame in that. Living somewhere, you keep your place nice and you keep yourself up. Don't worry about what nobody else has to say. Huh? Everybody around here talking and want to co sign and say something about your life ain't going to put a dime on your life. Then they're going to wait to talk about you when you're down and you ain't got nowhere to stay. You know, so don't worry about them. You do what you have to do until you can do better. Crawl before you walk. You know, it costs to live, and it's a struggle, you know. So whatever you can afford to do to provide for yourself, and it's honorable. It's honorable. Honoring that. And I don't know. So after I got him, I, I got a lady. That I picked up in Raleigh. Well, she was going to East Memphis. And her, she went on, which I couldn't quite get. Well, I don't know this situation. Let me mind my own business because he could have paid for the lift. So she went on to tell me about what had happened with her car. And she had been in an accident. And um, her car was totaled out and blase, blase. And so she lived... 
about five minutes. She work at Nike and she really could walk. And she said she live about five minutes away from Nike in a car, you know, with me driving her. I didn't drive her to Nike, but she was just telling me she worked there. And God had blessed her with a full-time job. She said she was at FedEx in the hub for two years. As a part-time, she couldn't get full-time. But God had blessed her with this job. And she was now making $17 an hour. And when her lease is up, she's going to move because it's gotten bad out there. I said, but ma'am, I don't know how bad it is, but I don't know the situation. I said, does anybody bother you? She said, no. And she was saying that she, um, she said, but it's always something going on out here. She said, I really liked White Haven, but it was always something going on out there. And I told her, I said, you know what, ma'am? Crime is everywhere. People think that because they live in a quote-unquote good neighborhood that crime won't happen. Crime does happen in good neighborhoods, too, that people quote-unquote say are good. And she said, I said, you are so convenient near work. You know, even if something happened and you have to be late, you can strike out walking and get to work. You know, I said, that's a blessing. Well, the time of night she worked, I wouldn't walk. But, you know, I was just saying because she said she'd get off at whatever, 3.30 in the morning. I forgot what time she go in, but she was saying that um, they had cafeterias in the in the building, and she said, "Oh, they have so much good food. I can't stop hardly not eat it." It was just kind of funny, but she went on, you know. Again, what other people saying about where you live at and stuff? People got so much to say, but ain't gonna put one dime on paying no high rent for you. Nowhere else. And it's no shame. If you're in this situation right now, thank God for where you are right now. I ain't living in no McMansion. I don't want one either. But uh, I'm just saying, thank God for what you are and what you have and what he's blessed you with. You know, it's a blessing to have a place to stay a roof over your head. And if you're doing it and you're doing something legal to keep a roof, I don't care what somebody else think of it. It don't really matter what they think. It really doesn't. Just keep on keeping on. And that's anywhere you stay. It ain't on what's the outside. It's what's on the inside anyway. Never judge a book by its cover. And that's including places to live. And I've been guilty of that. So, hey. Two. You know. Judging something before you really know what's on the inside sometimes. You might miss her. Y'all, this dinner was delicious. I enjoyed it. Something was spicy. Oh, I know what I did. I put some of that Tony Cashers in those greens. But they good, though. Oh, and I told y'all them, them canned greens. Them the glory greens. But I hook them up. I put some chicken uh, bouillon cube down in them. What I do, you know, some chicken bouillon and some uh, Tony Cashers onion powder and garlic powder. You know, I drain them and rinse them off. They were actually quite tasty. I might go in there and get me another fork full. But anyway, y'all don't know if this thing going to upload or not. Because my internet is sorry today. It is barely, I can barely watch anything, look at anything. Log on to YouTube. It takes forever for one video to play. Who knows what's going on with that stuff. But anyway, just to let y'all know, if it don't get up in the day, hopefully it'll get up tomorrow. But I hope y'all are having a wonderful Sunday. Y'all are eating something delicious for dinner. Delicious to you. that fill your stomach. I hope y'all have a good, great, and blessed night. Have a joyful the weather's nice. I might get out and do a few lifts later, but I don't know. Yeah, to do a little lift or a couple of Ubers so, like I can say, I can get used to the app beforehand. And remember, I love you, but God loves you the most. 
Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. Y'all know I'll see you later this week for the weekly words and some couple of more meals and chats and see about my life before next weekend, which I'm going to be super busy. But anyway, love you much. I'll talk to you later. Have a good night. Bye.